Hey, I'm Blogger Marini and I've been using Wix to design my new website. In this video, I'm showing you how to start setting up your blog on your new Wix website. You'll learn everything you need to create a stunning blog that suits your personal style and start growing an online community. The first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you're on your Wix blog page. So you can access this in your navigational menu once you're in your Wix website editor and you're going to know that you're in your editor because you have all of these lovely options. Now if you don't have this blog page or the blog app, you can add that here on the side in the navigational tabs on the left hand add Wix blog and you're going to want to search for that and once you find it you can open the Wix blog app or add it since I've already downloaded it all I need to do is open it so it pulls up this Wix blog app and gives you a ton of settings now I'm going to show you how to actually access this app once you've downloaded it if you're on your blogs page if you click the page twice the blog app will pop up but you can choose these options so the options that populate when you're on this page are manage post or settings and you just want to make sure that you're actually in this area here because if you click any other areas of the page it's going to ask you to design those areas so as long as you're on this app page you click manage blog post it's going to take you to your dashboard where you can manage posts. So you have your drafts, you have your published posts, and you can either edit these here. You can duplicate, delete, turn off commenting, or you can create a new post. And this shows you who the author is. Same thing with categories. This shows your categories, the option to add a new one, and whatnot. Once we're on the blog page, we just click the blog page in this little section and you're going to see the option to manage post or settings. We're going to look at settings and this brings up the Wix blog application. The first tab is main and it shows you that you can create posts, manage posts, and this is just going to take you back to your manage post page. But if you look at your settings tab, this will allow you to actually send email notifications to subscribers. Everyone who subscribes to your site will automatically get an email about every new post on your blog. So you can choose to turn this on or turn this off. Next, we're going to look at your blog's display options. All we're doing is selecting display on the Wix blog application. And what this does is it populates your blog feed options. What shows on your blog feed? You can choose to show the author day and time and picture, the date and reading time, views counter, comments counter, or the likes counter. And then you have the option down here in your blog menu to allow site visitors to sign up and become site members. And what they're going to want to do is actually log in to do this and this will allow them to access all the functions of your blog because some are not available for people who haven't signed in. So it creates this sign up tab. And once you have this sign up option, we can change the settings for this in your member sign up settings. Now I'm going to show you how to change your member sign up settings. If you're on your Wix blog and someone's not a member, they're going to be prompted to log in or sign up. Now they have the option to either sign up or log in and you can change which screen they see and what they're prompted to log in or sign up with, either email, Google, Facebook, and I'm going to show you how to change these options. Now if you're in your Wix website editor, the best way to change these options is to navigate over here to the menus pages on the left hand side and once you're in here go down to member pages and if you select member pages 
you have member sign up settings so you make sure that you've set up all of these things on your blog so we're going to change our member sign up settings there's other options here but as far as the member sign ups you're going to select that and then member sign up settings include a general tab is going to show you the options that apply to your members area only so who can be a member everyone or people I approve you can change this which option show first like I mentioned you can either choose to show that new member sign up page or existing member login for people when they click that tab and then you can choose to let people sign in with Google or Facebook or you can toggle to turn those off and you also have your community settings which is your private community and people can join the community by default if you leave this option checked and then you also have your policies so you can link to your terms of use page privacy page or code of conduct page here and if you choose to toggle this on you're just going to have to actually add the link for where you want this to go what once you've made all of your changes you're just going to select done and you're going to see how these options would populate after you've previewed your changes and published them to your blog. And that's what's going to change all the options for this sign up page. Now you know how to start setting up your blog on your new Wix website. If you need help, you can watch more tutorials just like this one. Check out the description below this video or visit Wix.com's help center. I'm Blogger Brandy. You can reach me on social at Blog and Brandy or find out more about me on my website, www.blogandbrandy.com.